Hello YouTubers, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop with a video today on a um, upgrade that I did to my uh, Bauer um, portable bandsaw kit. Okay, uh, this is the one that you can buy at Harbor Freight for usually like a little over a hundred, but with the twenty percent discount, you can get them for like ninety-four or ninety-five bucks, something like that. Um, does come with this blade here, which I know a lot of people have uh, looked down upon, saying that it's not a great blade, that you should just throw it out and go buy you a, another you know, better blade. But honestly, so far for me, this blade has worked pretty good. Um, uh, I don't know if you can see it right there, but uh, hold on, let me get uh, something of that. Okay. Uh, you can see there's the teeth on the blade and like I said for a lot of guys that complain that the teeth break off and so far I haven't broken a tooth yet well maybe I'm not putting it to the test by you know using it on some heavy metals or something but so far so good I mean eventually I will get another blade for it one that's probably by metal which I can use it, you know, multi-purpose or something like that. This one here, uh, I believe, says that you can use it on soft metals. Uh, you know, some you can use it on wood. It'll obviously cut wood, no problem. Uh, as far, but as far as metal, you can use it on different soft metals. And so far, I haven't needed to use it on hard metals like rebar or something like that. Um, if I go cut rebar, I usually use my cutoff wheel uh, just to, you know, save the blade. But uh, Anyway, so basically, as a portable bandsaw, it comes exactly how you see it. You know, you got this little table here or this little back plate, and that's what you put up against the material you're cutting. It's got about a five inch opening here, so obviously, you can cut something, you know, as thick as that. Uh, you know, straight down cuts, angle cuts, you know, if you will. And, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, it's portable, like I said. You can, Basically, you know, you got your handle here. Here's your um, speed adjustment right here. You got max, which is like number six, and then you got five all the way down to one. You know, um, I found that five for me works best. And if you try to use it in lower numbers, depending on what you're cutting, it could bog down, you know, on you. So you don't want to take that chance. But anyway, so portable, using it portable perfectly works fine you know like I said you just lift plug here's your trigger that you just squeeze you can I think adjust you know start to stop but from for this purpose I'm using it as a portable uh, not portable a fixed uh, bandsaw so which means you got to put it in a vise tape the trigger down okay and one added one other added feature that I got also from Hammer Freight is this adjustable uh, pedal foot pedal on and off you plug it in plug in the the saw on that side right there and this will turn it on and off so that way you have your hands free when you're working on it so you can turn it on and off as you need to as you're holding the material you can click it do the work click it shut it off makes it nice and that wasn't very expensive either you know 10 12 bucks or something like that but anyway, so like I said, for this uh, feature, like I said, it's a device, uh, clamp it down. You don't want to squeeze too hard on where the trigger is because sometimes it can affect the on and off, okay? So that's why I have two pieces of wood, one here and one on the other side, to kind of sandwich in between the vise so that it also presses up against the metal on both sides so you're not squeezing too much in here, okay? I also took a, a small level like this one and checked it you know front to back and you can see it's right on okay which to adjust that you loosen the the vise you know and then you just tilt it back and forth and then of course you can check it from side to side and on this little platform you can see there's a big difference now right see where the bubbles at which means it's leaning towards my right and if I lift the level just a little bit this one's got magnet on the bottom it's about a sixteenth of an inch gap 
when it's uh, level. You can't see because it's black under there, but like I said, it's about a sixteenth of an inch gap, and I think it's because of this, the way it's mounted on here, okay? Which maybe the reason they did that is because this blade is not exactly plumb. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Uh, I put this over here and grab my little trusty square. So if I put this square on the platform and put it right up against the blade, when it sits square like that, I don't know if you can see it. Let me grab this right here. At the top, you see the squares touching the blade, right? But if you come down, you see the gap right there. And at the very bottom, right there, there's about an eighth, almost an eighth of an inch gap right there between the corner of the square and the blade. So maybe that's the reason why this table is a little offset so that the blade is actually, in fact, uh, plumb when you're cutting something, okay? But, like I said, it depends. If you're cutting something huge, really tall, yeah, that much of a difference, will, your piece will not be square, and you'll have to grind it straight. But so far, I've been cutting small stuff. You know, sometimes you're cutting stuff that's only like an eighth of an inch thick. That's not really going to matter uh, as far as what the angle is, because you could always correct that with grinding and everything. All right? So, basically, the upgrade that I did is, I've, you know, just like everybody else, you know, when you're using it in a fixed situation like this, you want this platform here to be bigger, wider, okay? And so this is what I did. I had this little extra piece of metal. And you can see it's a different color. It's just a sheet metal. Uh, from Actually from a company I used to work at, Swiss company. We used to make uh, commercial storage cabinets. And this is one of the materials we use. And this one, I believe, is about is one and a half mil thick or almost two mils. And, matter of fact, uh, I got my vernia right here, or caliper. I can measure that. Let's see if I can prop this. Alright, so let's see what that says. If, if it will focus. Yep, 2 millimeters thick. You can see where the zero is at right there, right? Or 1.9. Actually, with the company, we call this 1.9, but it's almost 2 millimeters thick. So you can see that this plate is actually pretty good. It's pretty stiff, um, and I thought it would make a, a nice little table. You know, it doesn't flex too much. There's no, not too much deflection, and I kept it uh, somewhat, you know, small. Uh, let's see if I can get bear with me here. One second. Kept it small, uh, made it nine and a half, nine and a half by six and a quarter inches. Okay, which I believe that to be a good working surface. Okay, so basically, like I said, what I did was, as you can see, I made two holes to match those mountain holes right there for these screws right here in the back countersunk the holes for the new screws and then also made a cut right about down the middle of the plate okay to accommodate the blade okay so basically what you're going to need is a three millimeter allen wrench to loosen these guys up right here to be able to take this out, okay, like this, and you won't be reusing these screw uh, these screws because you can see these screws have a round head, okay. It's not a countersunk head, uh, yeah, countersunk head. So uh, let me put this over here for now. So in order to use it, like I said, with the feature of being in a fixed vise like this, put that over there, make sure I don't lose these, you're going to need uh, to find you screws that's going to fit, 
Okay, so basically we take this. Oh, I forgot to mention. So on the back part, you see I have a washer that's somewhat like glued through with uh, silicone. So it stays in place. And what it's doing is giving me the height. Um, I had to adjust the height of the, this table or this plate rather to fit good on here. So in other words, underneath these two holes, they're going to get washers for the back. And then this washer right there will sit right around here to kind of keep the table level and you'll see that once I uh, go ahead and mount this all right so let me pause this for a second so I can set it up and then we'll come right back okay so I got the two screws and here's the two screws I was talking about right there okay and you can see these are countersunk there we go countersunk two of them and two washers that I'm gonna put underneath the plate. So I'll go ahead and set that up now. Put a washer there. Put the other washer there, like that. Gives me my height and then bring the plate down. And then just go ahead and hand thread the screws in there. And these are Phillips. And you could probably use Allen head uh, screws that were countersunk, but I find that you're more than likely going to find Phillips head screws that's going to work better. Okay, just make sure that they're nice and snug like this. And I had to adjust, I even had to ground down this first screw right here a little bit so that, you know, whatever material you're going to have here is going to slide nice right above it, okay? Alright, so let's switch back to this, let me go ahead, okay, so there you go. and you can see the blade comes right to the edge okay right to the edge right there so now as you can see you got a nice little work table okay for your material so let me go ahead and put the level back on here and see what we got all right so this is side to side and once again you can see the bubble is almost outside the left line okay which tells you that everything is leaning this way. So if you lift it up, let me flip it over without the magnet so it's easier. Okay, so look at the bubble. It's right there and I can lift it up just a hair. Right there and it's about not even a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, so if we do the front to back, check. Now on this one, you see now it's changed where the bubble's at. So that means that the front, the front of this has got to go up. So that means I got to loosen this and tilt it back just a little bit. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I went ahead and adjusted it and you can see that the, the level is much better. Okay, bubbles right in the middle. And that's front to back. So, as far as the levelness of left to right, okay, that we really can't do too much about because it's in the vise. So, inside the vise, I would have to shim that piece of wood that's on the right side to get the saw to go this way. But, if I grab my little square again, and put it right there and put it as close to the edge as I can. Now look at the difference of, hold on one second, look at the difference of it. As you can see, it's pretty much lined up with the blade and at the bottom, 
I mean, there is about a sixteenth of an inch gap right there. Okay. So by using this guy right here, it actually made this a much closer. Okay. At the bottom. So it brought it in a little bit more. And if, I believe if I lifted this side more, hence why I put that washer under here to lift this table more to kind of give this a more square, the table more square with the, with the blade. So a sixteenth of an inch cut on small material, like I said, is not going to make a big, big, too much of a difference. All right. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and set my camera up again Oop, sorry about that all right so it's plugged in everything's good to go and we'll go ahead and cut a piece of metal first all right so now you can see that now it's so easy because you have a nice work surface and you can push this nice and easy you know on the front back with the other plate with this one here it just doesn't give you enough surface for when you have something small like this and things can be all, you know, too much. Right? So, let me go ahead and turn it on. As you can see. Okay. So, and then it's just a matter of approaching the blade and just start cutting. See? When it's actually on the thin part, it actually cuts pretty quick, all right? So I can go this way even, like this, and you can see it takes, once it makes its way through, cuts nice, all right? Now for a piece of wood, same thing. Now wood is much easier because There you go. All right. Same thing. So you can see. And then just turn it off like that. But where's my little square? Okay. So here's the piece of wood. And see if I can get that really good all right there you go here's a squareness right there and it's actually touching like it's very this part right here because it's on an angle it looks like there's a gap but there's no gap so it's pretty square okay and if we look at the metal that I was cutting I mean there's the cut right there Okay, so if I check it this way, oh, let me get a camera. Okay, let's flip it over. All right, so let me get this right because I'm close. All right, so with the metal right there, you can see that's pretty square. Okay, right on top of that that outer edge. Let's see if I can get the angle. That's pretty square, okay? It's just because it's a shadow, but... So it's not bad. Like I said, with this little table, I can cut square tubing, round tubing, uh, you name it. And I believe that it's going to do a great job. But, this little guy, like I said, uh, I mean, I this plate was already that size. And all I did was clean up the edges, rounded them off. So that, I, you know, I don't poke myself, cut myself, clean them up, sanded them down. Just so happens it was, uh, you know, what I say, nine and a half this way, six and a quarter that way, back and forth. But it's perfect, you know, to do what I need to do. And uh, now, if I needed to, like, do something else with this, make it more stationary, build a, you know, a stand, a platform or something where I could cut, like, longer pieces, then, yeah, I would definitely um, make this thicker. And then go from there. But anyway, guys, so there you go. There's my little upgrade. Uh, making a platform for the 
Bauer portable bandsaw, okay, uh, using just scrap material that I had laying around. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And please click the bell button for more and upcoming videos and so that you can get notifications. All right, thanks. Have a good one.